the ICU in general, uh, sepsis is one of our most important challenges. Uh, so there are hundreds of thousands of patients uh, who develop sepsis and uh, a significant number of those patients develop septic shock. Managing patients with sepsis and septic shock is a very difficult challenge uh, for intensivists. Uh, so whether it's in the medical intensive care unit or the surgical intensive care unit or the neuro unit or the burn unit or the trauma unit, sepsis occurs uh, in a variety of different uh, patient populations. Hemodynamic management is a very important part of taking care of patients with sepsis in the ICU because a significant number of these patients develop uh, myocardial dysfunction and it's a very dynamic situation in terms of managing their intravascular volume and cardiac function. By the time a sepsis patient is in the ICU and they're on multiple pressors and they've developed multiple organ dysfunction, it may actually be too late. So it's important to jump on this early and have the appropriate you know, direct visualization information to be able to hemodynamically manage a patient with sepsis to, at best, try and avoid multiple organ dysfunction. Uh, but once a patient is hemodynamically unstable, it's very important to uh, figure it out quickly and uh, push the patient in the right direction. So here we have a, a very large number of patients in our ICUs with a particular uh, diagnosis that carries with it a very high mortality rate of over 50% in some cases. So it's incumbent upon us to be able to have the best information for hemodynamic management uh, for patients with sepsis in the ICU. Very often in patients with septic shock, it's not clear exactly how far to push fluids or pressors or other forms of support. And HTE, by giving this direct visualization information, gives a high degree of confidence for the intensivist to know exactly how far to push and when. Being able to directly visualize in that situation uh, is very important where indirect information can be very misleading. The faster we can get to the right answer and appropriately uh, manage these patients from a hemodynamic perspective using HTE, uh, the better the patients will do. And it's very likely that if we can get to hemodynamic stability early in patients with sepsis, we can then prevent multiple organ dysfunction and lead to a better outcome in those patients.